Hi TIs, um, it's me again. Hey, um, this video I'm gonna do for you because I want to make you give, want to give you a connection between my research and what's in the Bible and now, present time. Um, how if you go back in time, you do the research, it's the same song and dance that the elite are doing. Okay, so here, chemtrails. Chemtrails, they had it in Egypt. It was called the scurf. It was a blood corrosion. Okay, it caused massive itching, and um, there's a recipe in here that I found for it, but um, I don't know if it's foolproof, of course, but um, they had itching in Egypt, too. Okay, directed energy weapons, they have that, too. That was EMR. Now, the person that suffered from this was um, Ra, and I'm going to read that out to you. Let's see, 2641. All right, 2641. Okay, Ra suffered, he, Ra suffered from a headache. Okay, she says here, Can we now surmise these headaches were a direct result of EMR assault and or other radiation emissions or fallout? We know the scalp is more sensitive to radiation than the face or eyebrows. And the reason many priests are shown bald who came in contact with the arc or similar radiations. Okay, so what she's saying She's saying, if you're not convinced of the unusual events happening over 3,000 years ago, let us go back to Ra. According to the Ebers, Ebers, um, Tefna gave Ra a headache. Um, so anyways, um, she says here, now, these headaches were a result of EMR, EMR. So Ra got EMR attacks as well. That's a result of directed energy weapons. Okay, and... Here, you know, he had headaches, okay, all right, and then gang stalking, I've given you plenty of examples of that, that was in Sumerian time, 1700 BCE, and here's the gentleman's name, okay, there's tablets on this thing, and this is why the elite go to war, they find these tablets and they try to destroy history for you, okay, he suffered from the wrath of God, which is the technology, okay? Now, when the locusts show up, they're gonna probably do, they're gonna try and do their golden age on us. They're gonna merge science and your metaphysics. They're gonna slam them together with the wrath of God, okay? And that's the same song and dance that happened to this guy because it even says when he was being gang stalked that, um, he, now listen up, he says, um, the Lord, the confusion, and the warrior Enlil, his, my God, has forsaken me and disappeared. My goddess has cut me off and stayed, and stayed removed from me. The benevolent spirit who is always beside me has departed. Okay, so what's happened here is the wrath of God, they're changing the gods. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that when they do this whole rollout on Rev 13, they're going to do the whole, you know, you know, someone's here to save you. We're going to have the bad guys and the good guys. Okay, what I'm telling you, you got to stand firm, okay? Because they've done this stuff in the past. That's how they, that's how they change the civilizations, okay? It's like I told you. It's, it's like that, you know, you're in the age of Kaliuga, and it's going to go back up to Kurta, okay? From 1,000 to back up, up to 4,000, okay? And in, his, in this gentleman's case, back in uh, Sumerian times, the gods have changed from Enlil to, I guess, Marduk, but... It was just really the same guide, okay? But I'm telling you, their golden age is to take the science and the metaphysics, the science, and like, you know, the spiritual world. If you're a spiritual person, they're going to slam together and confuse you, okay? All right? Now, chemtrails can be found in the Bible, and that's Deuteronomy 28. Directed energy weapons, that happened currently, that was 9-11. Dr. Judy Wood has described dustification. And then she also says that's a prime example of free energy. What I'm telling you also is that EMR has been on the planet forever. Those are your pyramids. Okay. Uh, gang stalking, that's also in the Bible. It's Jeremiah, chapter 12. Uh, the footmen are, are the agents, and they have the army of Joel. Okay. That's who it is. Your gang stalkers that are hitting you right now, that's out of Jeremiah, chapter 12. Okay? Nefertiti, 
Now, Nefertiti, I did a little research today. She's Niburian, on the Niburian side. And if you look her up on, on Google, just look up her bust. Her bust is in Berlin, okay? If you just look at it, um, her left eye is white. Now, that could be because of um, maybe some defacing during the time and all that, but I'm just kind of trying to point it out to you that her left eye is different, okay? And the left eye is what the Illuminati work on. And that's Zechariah 1117. Okay? Okay? While they, work, while they work on the spirit side, everybody else is worried on working on, you know, math and science, the hardcore stuff. Okay? You know, while they have all the information on the spirit side, they also have the um, hard sciences. Okay? That's what I mean. They're going to slam the whole thing together. Okay, when they do their their rollout. Okay, now a thing about this this gentleman here in Sumerian times is that um, she says in her book that um, she says here when Marduk showed up. He probably was the one that helped this gentleman out. But she says here, We must remember the corruption of the translation and the fact the man battled with himself with his loyalties. At the end of the passage, it is said that Marduk, who made the enemy, drop his weapon. Now, drop his weapon, I remember reading that. Marduk made the enemy drop their weapon. Well, you know what? There's lots and lots of stories about that coming out now in Iraq where um, the Iraqis, you know, soldiers dropped their weapons because they heard the voice of God. Now, your voice of God, there's several articles out, you know. This one was, um, let's see, dated uh, December 23rd, 2007. Okay. All right. Now, the voice of God. Now, this was interesting to me. They were already rolling this out, guys. Give you a heads up, especially in Manhattan, New York, New York, Manhattan. Okay, now listen up. A new billboard on Prince Street in Soho, that in Manhattan, uses a directional sound system from Holosonic to broadcast a message directly into your head for only you to hear. It is being used, of course, at, for advertising. Okay, it's an ad for Paranormal State, a ghost-themed series premiering on A&E this week. The billboard used technology manufactured by Holosonic that transmits an audio spotlight from the rooftop speakers so that the sound is contained within your cranium. The technology, ideal for museums and libraries or environments that require a quiet atmosphere, isolated audio slideshows, has rarely been used on such a scale before. For randomly passer buyers and residents who have to walk in woodenly through the area where the voice will penetrate their inner peace, it's another story. The speaker isn't in the billboard itself.